Disclaimer. I have no right to be discussing anything health and fitness wise. You have been warned. Hello, my little rose petals, and welcome to my life. We filming in my room today, cause I cleaned it. It is Wednesday here on Diva and the Diamonds, and you know what that means. Let's do it together. It's time to get melted. 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 Cool. <laughs> this week is Health and Fitness Week, which is like... I mean, what? Warren is not even going to even begin with the health and fitness. And you're right, I'm not going to begin with the health and fitness. So what I've decided to do is I made a list of 10 movies, whether they were good, bad, questionable, whatever. They were memorable in some way in my mind because I don't know watch a lot of them. Sports, comedy-ish movies. Not all of them are comedies. There's one that actually is like, freaky and like actually let me have nightmares for probably a year. So let's look at that list and see what you think. Have you seen any of these movies? One, a classic fat camp movie, Heavyweights. I love it. So funny. <laughs> Dodgeball, another one of those Ben Stiller movies where he plays like a fit asshole. Cool Runnings, because the whole, like, idea of Cool Runnings is just ridiculous, and it's funny. Happy Gilmore, because it's actually one of Adam Sandler's probably best movies, and, I mean, it's golf, so that's fitness. Fever Pitch, I don't remember a lot about this movie, but here's what I remember. Drew Barrymore, which is super important, Jimmy Fallon, uh, and baseball, so health and fitness. High School Musical, Zac Efron playing basketball, that is totally health and fitness, and you know I was looking real fit after watching that movie. Okay, here's one of those movies that it's like, why are you even putting this on your list? And it's just like, ooh, it's questionable, but here's the thing, it's really hard to come up with sports movies, guys. This one is The Longest Yard. It's about football players in jail. Football players and yeah. Here is a series of movies that starts out really good and then it just gets like more and more terrible as the time went on and it's the Bring It On series and that's about cheerleading again getting fit watching cheerleaders. Am I right? Okay this is the one that gave me nightmares swim fan. I just what a freaky movie. Right? That was a freaky movie. My final movie, I was like, is this even... It is. Cadet Kelly. I loved Cadet Kelly because, hello, Hilary Duff, and whatever her name is, Ren Stevens. So I just, I loved that movie. And that was all about military health and fitness so, it counts. Okay, okay. Enough of the silly topic. On to the questions. Rosie asked if we could, like, all come up with a theme. And I think that it would be really fun if, kind of like last time where I said, like, what reality show would you want to be on? This time would be, like, do a reality theme week because like where we say like this is the reality show we're on and this is how we would rank on the show so I le let's do that one because I think that that would be really funny and I already know how I would play it out. Melissa asked to see our to-do list after being inspired by Rosie, my little Rosie Rose Rose I love and really on my to-do list I have one thing Keep on balling, baby. And Sarah, you did.
didn't ask a question, but you're getting better at this because you answered the questions this week, so that's really super awesome. And my question for all you uh, rose petals and diamonds out there, what is, like, your idea of a perfect vacay? Because I am headed on one very, very soon, and I just think it would be fun to hear, like, what you guys would do on your perfect vacation. That's what I've got for you this week. I love you so much, babies. I will see you next week. Bye! And again, make sure that you turn into Rosie Rose tomorrow. Bye!